Okay. Today we talk about the Phoenix LD12 2017 edition. I have had this light for quite some time and I have a couple of thoughts on it which I wanted to share and one of them is particularly interesting to me. This light has two switches, one tail switch to turn it on and off and one mode selector to select the different lumen outputs. This light runs on a couple of different batteries. You can use a normal AA battery, you can use a rechargeable AA battery, or you can use a 14500 lithium ion battery. Depending on the different battery types, you get different run times, but more that they are in the same ballpark. So on low, you have five lumens and you get around 50 hours. On medium, you'll get 30 lumens, which will last you about 10 hours. On high, you get 70 lumens, which will last you five hours. And now on turbo, you get 150 lumens, that is on the AA battery or on the rechargeable AA battery. And on the 14500 battery, you would get 320 lumens. I can't show you that because I don't have a 14500 battery right now. But that will last you around one hour on uh, both batteries, I should say. So on the 14500, you get 320 lumens for one hour. And on the double A's, you get 150 for around one hour. Here are a couple of shots outside where I hope you can see the, beat, the, the, the throw distance a little bit and the spill of the light. One problem I have with this uh, light, I always want to say knife, one problem I have with this light is if you use it like it is intended to be used with the tail switch, you have your hand on the light like this and then you press the button to turn it on and off. What happens though is if you squeeze it a little tighter, you keep switching through the modes by accident. Now I have my pinky on, on, that, um, uh, on that mode selection switch, but if I turn the light a little, I have my palm against it, I can still switch. This is something I don't like. I think this, this switch should be like sunken down or I don't know, it's, 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 it's too protruding, whatever. I've seen on the uh, new PD25R, I think they also have this mode selector switch on the side, but it seems to be a little more flattened out. I want to test that out. I want to get that light, but this annoys me quite a bit. This light is IP68 waterproof for up to two meters, which is quite nice and actually one of the reasons I bought it. I just wanted something that I can count on that keeps going. Another reason is uh, it has different types of batteries. so. I use it with rechargeable batteries, so it doesn't cost me anything and it's not that, well, I don't waste a lot of batteries, but just in case I need this thing to, to keep going, I can just switch batteries. I, it doesn't have like a fixed battery in there that I have to recharge with a USB cable. So the light has, um, the light forces some downtime on me. I, didn't, I can just swap out the batteries and I'm, I'm good to go for, for another 50 hours. You have a hardened glass lens up there, which is quite nice. I like uh, quite a bit because I used this light a lot. I had it in, in many pockets. It held up very nicely. I have no scratches whatsoever on the lens. Um, which I, I like that. That's good. Another reason I bought this light is um, Phoenix says this has the Cree XPG2R5 LED inside here. This LED is rated to have a lifespan of 50,000 hours. And again, that was something I was looking for when buying an EDC light, uh, something that kept going. And so far I have no problem with that, unless you have a second one. I have two of most of the things I carry daily because you know, two is one, one is none. And this is a problem for me. Uh, or I think, I don't, I don't know. Uh, are those different LEDs inside? I've contacted Phoenix about this and I haven't received an answer. I took both of these lights, well, I, I didn't take them apart. I just looked very closely at all the parts as far as I could, at the circuits inside, and they seem to be identical. The only thing that differs is the beam color. And um, it kind of bugs me, I don't know. They, they they advertise neutral white color, so they advertise the color of the of the LED, and, and 
this is clearly not the same. However, <clears throat> let's assume this is this Cree XP2, G, blah, 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 50,000 hours life spent. Okay. I like the light. I think I like the clip. I like, I think the, 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 the lumen, the lumen numbers you get, the, 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 how much lumens you get at what stage is clever. I like the five lumen uh, mode. I use this quite a bit. It's not too bright. You can see everything and you have 50,000 hours runtime. Ah, no, no, sorry. Um, excuse me. You have 50 hours runtime on this, on this setting. My, at the moment, my daily carry is the Streamlight MicroStream micro USB. And the lowest setting on this is this. I don't know the lumens from the top of my head, but this is quite a bit more. Um, this is a little more subtle. I like that. You have a longer runtime, you can switch batteries, etc. If Phoenix were to update this light for a, like a 2022, 2023 edition, I would love to see this light get a little smaller. This is the uh, the old Phoenix E12, which is discontinued or, or updated, I should say. Um, <clears throat> this is also a AA flashlight. The, these use the same size of batteries, but this is significantly uh, bigger than this. If they would be able to shrink this down, get that, um, get that uh, uh, mode select button a little flatter, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? So that you don't accidentally switch through the modes all day. Then I would be very happy, very happy. As it is right now, I have to say, I, I, I try to carry it daily. It doesn't come with a pouch. I think that the, the next Phoenix I want to check out is the PD25R, which seems to have a little, the, the mode selection switch is a little more flat, I believe. And it comes with a pouch, so you can carry it on your belt. This doesn't come with one, and is it's a little bulky to have in your pants, and it's too big for my Leatherman uh, sheath. Uh, so at the moment, my daily carry is the uh, MicroStream, which I like quite a bit. But <clears throat> I would love to see this updated to 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 fit my needs a little better. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Bye.